do have a gray day in store. I want to get you set for this gray, damp, kind of a dreary day. Cena called it dismal. Yeah, not too far off. So these areas of low pressure are very much in control of the forecast today. What happens is we don't dry out until tomorrow, but then overnight tonight, that's when the winds are really going to intensify. Your out the door numbers, we have mid to upper 30s, we have some low 40s. We only top out in the upper 40s, so we are really going to stay on the cool side of things. The winds, not so much of a factor for now, but that does change. We could see gusts tonight between 30 to 50 miles an hour, so really significant enough to cause some down trees, maybe even some power outages, something we'll be watching really closely. As we time out though the rest of your Monday, you'll notice all the white that lingers with us. It definitely stays on the gray side of things. And then we're tracking these off and on showers. Looking ahead to Tuesday, Tuesday is looking more promising. We get a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures today, we are going to top out in the upper 40s. Tonight, some of those rain showers are going to linger and temperatures dropping off low enough that we could get a little bit of wet snow kind of mixed in there. But really, for the most part, it is going to be about the winds for tonight. The winds stick with us throughout the day Tuesday, even lingering into Wednesday. But you'll notice we dry out and we see a more of a mix of sun and clouds. So today, if you see a sunbreak or two, you will be one of the lucky ones. Looking ahead to St. Patrick's Day, spe speaking of luck here, temperatures in the mid 60s, a whole lot of clouds, but at least we are dry.